a trifecta of short stories contextualized under the guise of a publication's final issue. This is Wes Anderson's The French Dispatch. Hello and welcome to Will Watches. This is my review for The French Dispatch. So I had the opportunity to go and see some behind the scenes for this movie, some props, some costumes, and even some larger scale sets. And it was great to just see some of the behind the scenes things and all of the hard work and dedication that goes into making a movie like this. They even had a recreated Café Blanc from the movie. That was also where I got this t-shirt, which is a limited edition, one of 100 t-shirt made just for this exhibition for the French Dispatch. And I actually saw the exhibition before I saw the movie. So it was great watching the movie and kind of seeing all of these things that I had seen before without any context and you kind of discovering the movie as it's happening, seeing like, oh, that's what that is. There's these paintings that I saw at the exhibition and they play quite a big role in the movie. And when I was looking at the paintings, I was like, I could see kind of like a figure in the painting. And then that was confirmed in the movie. It was just kind of, this layer that added a real richness to the experience seeing coming up with theories once when i was seeing the exhibition and then seeing those come true in the movie so i think with this if you are already a wes anderson fan you are going to love this because it is just wes anderson at his best doing what he does best you kind of know exactly what you're getting yourself in for here all of the symmetrical shots that are just delightfully shot the quirky soundtrack and all of the characters being super quirky and interesting. Anderson's usual cast is back in full swing, as you'd expect. Bill Murray, Tilda Swinton, Owen Wilson, they're all here. And there's some great additions here as well. Timothy Chalamet does a great job. Francis McDormand as well. And Alex Lawford, he's only in there for a tiny bit, but it was great seeing him again. I recognise him just from his voice, so it was great having him as well. So the story is set out like a magazine, because it focuses on this publishing house, and they are producing their final issue. So the start of the movie is a prologue, and then you have a section for politics, you have a section for travel, you have a section for food and drink, you know, and each of those sections is like a story in the movie. I thought it was really creative. It's something that has been done before, but Wes Anderson puts a great spin on it. Like with the Grand Budapest Hotel, you're kind of going levels deeper and deeper. So there's like the top level where it's like in the publishing house where they're making decisions about what articles will be published. And then you go a level deeper into one of the journalists telling the story. And then there's another story inside of that. And it just goes deeper and deeper, you know? I do think for some people, it will be hard to understand. That's one critique I always have of Wes Anderson. It's not for the everyday person i guess it's not for general audiences you need to like wes anderson to be into this type of thing and there is like a level of pretentiousness that comes along with that you know when i was in the movie there was a couple sitting next to me and i heard overheard them when the movie was done they were just like i didn't understand a word of that so this definitely isn't for everyone but if you are already a wes anderson fan which i think if you're watching a review you probably are then you will really enjoy this. So there's three main stories and then there's a few other little stories around it, but the three main stories are all really strong. As I was watching the first one, I was thinking, oh, I'm really enjoying this. I'm wondering how they're going to top it for the next story, but each story does just improve upon each other. I think after a bit of time, 
My favorite one is the second story, which is the one that focuses on Timothy Chalamet. And he does a great job here, along with Francis McDormand. They kind of share this story. They're both the main characters of this story. That's my favorite one. That's what this t-shirt is in relation to. So Wes Anderson, you know, he's doing his classic style here, but there is a moment in this movie I won't spoil when or where it happens. There's a moment in this movie that has a lot of this very high tension. And during that moment, his style kind of starts to break down. And it's just an amazing moment where you're used to all of these symmetrical shots and kind of still shots or like very planned tracking shots, you know. There's this moment where the camera just goes handheld and the breakdown of that style is so effective in portraying this moment of tension it just feels like we've had you know the past four movies have been building up this style you know almost all of anderson's career he's been building up this style and then for this one moment he breaks it and the contrast makes it so so effective for me the use of narration here is really strong. We have these three separate stories, all narrated by their journalists. So Tilda Swinton, Jeffrey Wright, and Francis McDormand all narrate these stories. And, you know, this is just kind of a classic Wes Anderson style, having a narrator. But splitting it up to have all of these different people was really fun. And you have a real mix of personality between them all as well. Jeffrey Wright has his kind of iconic voice and then Tilda Swinton is really quirky and funny. She was a real highlight here as well, her character. There's just a lot of fun and interest here, you know? So this is very much in line with Wes Anderson's style, but there are even more things he kind of brings in here that I haven't seen before. You know, I mentioned when he goes handheld for a bit, that was really great. But there's this spinning shot as well around a dinner table, that was great. That probably has been done before, but that just stood out to me, that moment. Also the way the music was intertwined with that moment was really great. So there's a few things, you know, he's doing his classic style, but he is still doing new things to mix things up as well and keeping, you know, he hasn't gone stale yet. He's still mixing things up to keep things fresh. The very start of the movie is actually quite a little bit confusing and I didn't quite get it, but it was actually a really great moment because they call back to it right at the end and almost bookend the movie with this little speech, I guess. It happens at the start of the movie and you're a little bit confused, but by the end of the movie, it's completely explained and it was just really fun just seeing that I just had a big goofy grin on my face once I once it clicked and I realized what they were saying at the end it was just really fun I think that summarizes this movie it's just a really fun ride and adventure you just need to kind of immerse yourself into the movie and let it take control and you'll just have a great time I hope you enjoyed this review if you did be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe to the channel so you keep up to date for future reviews and any other video I make. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.